I met Harvey Weinstein in the 1980s. A very good friend of mine, Lizette Anthony, used to give brunch parties and he was often invited along with his brother, Bob. And it was a very small apartment uh, with not that many people and he was one of the many uh, guests who were frequently invited. And uh, so I got to know him and his brother, um, at least as acquaintances. And uh, so it was a natural thing that when I wanted to establish myself in Hollywood after working in the film industry in Europe, that I would uh, call upon Harvey's help. As it was uh, initially, I just wanted an internship job. Um, how do you feel with all this, uh, all, the, all those events? After showing me around the office building, he then put my hand on his crotch and chased me out to the lifts, the elevators, and then kissed me in front of all of his staff, all of which was extremely unpleasant. But for a young woman, this was 1991, for a young woman in the 1990s, that wasn't that unusual. It wasn't the first time that somebody had made a really ugly um, advance. He wanted to make amends and I was then in Los Angeles and I was told he would be visiting and staying at uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. So I went with a friend and my friend waited in the foyer, thank God, because when I went up to Harvey's room we had um, a business meeting for about an hour and then he asked me for a massage and uh, presented himself naked and uh, then tried to massage me at which point I I, I really understand Ashley Judd's words about how the hell do I get out of here as quickly as possible without offending the most powerful man in Hollywood. It's not an easy situation to be in. Well, I woke up at 1.30 because of jet lag. And because I couldn't go back to sleep, I looked at my phone and I think I had 58 messages from the other women who um, I've become very close to now, the other Harvey Weinstein survivors. And we're all elated, obviously. This has been a long time coming. And it began to feel as if nothing was going to happen. It began to feel as if there would never be any consequences and that he could wriggle his way out of this. I think he's going to play hard and dirty. And so what we've experienced has been a time of support from a lot of people and I think that was the honeymoon because now I think the attack is going to begin.